Hi everybody. So I'm going to do a different type of video today. I'm not going to be playing music at all, but I am going to talk about something that completely blew my mind recently about recorder. Um, and I'm sure that for all of you recorder specialists out there, you absolutely already knew this, um, or just people who are really passionate about recorder, but it's not something that I knew about. And we're talking and when talking to my colleagues, um, there was quite a few people that also did not know this. So um, I had to play a lot of Elta Recorder recently for something. And I'm of course swabbing out the body of it with my swab and swabbing out um, this upper joint here. And um, I'm looking at the windway, this is the windway. And I'm like, oh, like I really want to be able to clean it. And I wasn't sure how to clean it. And so upon doing some research, I realized that this block, this thing right here, this is completely removable. And um, in doing so, you can very easily clean the mouthpiece. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that block right now. You wanna go ahead and get a cloth of some sort. This is just a dish towel. Hold this like so. And then um, get a dowel, or in this case, I'm not sure where my dowel went, so I've procured a wooden spoon from the kitchen. And um, you are gonna need some force to get out. It's not just a gentle tap, tap, tap. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out right now. So as you can see, just after a couple taps, it's starting to move. There we go. So here you go. Here's the block, here's the mouthpiece. So excited, I was so excited to just be able to clean it. Um, so the one thing I will caution is you wanna be really, really careful about damaging the windway. So right here, um, don't, uh, you, you don't wanna scratch that, damage that at all. And um, same thing for the windway right here. Um, so when it's apart, what I actually like to use is a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. I'm not gonna do that right now, but, um, but I basically take the Q-tip and I very carefully will clean the windway here as well as the rest of the mouthpiece, both, both inside and out. And same thing for the block. And you just go with the grain of the wood and um, really gently and you can clean it off that way. And when you're done, if it needs some oiling, um, feel free to oil. I like to use sweet almond oil. Um, there's a lot of people that use linseed oil, just different schools of thought, um, whatever works for you. Um, I will, now, I don't oil the block at all and I don't oil the windway. Um, there are some people that soak their whole recorders and soak their whole blocks in oil and that seems to work for them. So whatever works for you, that's just not how um, I oil my recorder. Um, now, since this is not wet um, from playing or from cleaning or from oiling, I'm gonna actually show you it's really easy once it's dry to put it back in. So you see it just slides right back in. You might need to, there you go. It just presses right back in easily and you're ready to go. So blew my mind recently. I'm so excited. I am not a germaphobe, but I do like being able to clean my instruments after I use them. Um, so if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and thank you so much for watching.